Hey what is going on everybody welcome to the 9th selenium web driver tutorial again my name is abhilash and in the previous tutorials we have seen how we can use selenium ite commands in order to quickly create the test automation scripts in this tutorial we will be looking into the list of uh, softwares that we need to install on our system before we can actually start with the selenium web driver implementation so basically selenium web driver is uh, one of the tools that is uh, provided by selenium and it needs knowledge of uh, one of the programming languages that is supported by selenium so in this tutorial series we will be focusing on java as our programming language which we will use to create java programs uh, along with selenium web driver so let's get started with the list of softwares that we need to download and install on our system so the very first software that we need to install on our system is uh, java runtime environment so basically this is a software which allows us to execute the java programs so you can quickly google it and on their official website you can uh, download the jre that is java runtime environment so based on the system specifications you can uh, download the required uh, jre executable file and once it is uh, installed on your machine you can quickly go to c drive program files java this folder will be created once uh, jre is installed on your system jre 1.8 in this case bin folder so this particular path that is uh, till bin folder uh, this path is supposed to be included in the environmental variables of your system so basically uh, you can access your environmental variables from your my computer right click properties under advanced system settings we have something called as environment variables under advanced so if you click on this I have already included the path of the bin folder under the path variable so if you can see this uh, this is the path that I have already included that is the bin folder under JRE after the installation of uh, JRE uh, in this case I have uh, downloaded the latest version that is 1.8 so basically that's the way you are supposed to include it in your environment variables in your system and to ensure that uh, java is properly installed on a system you can uh, always uh, go to your command prompt that is windows r type cmd press enter and you can always check out the version of uh, java that is installed on your machine using java hyphen version as your command so it will display the version of the jre or uh, java that is installed on your machine so in this case it is 1.8 so basically that's the first software that we need to install on our system the second software is uh, eclipse ide this is nothing but this is the integrated development environment which will help us to create the java programs so basically we will be able to create and execute java programs using this eclipse ide so once you have downloaded Eclipse IDE from uh, their official website so based on your uh, system specifications you can uh, download the required executable file and once the entire uh, folder is downloaded you can uh, always uh, extract the zip file and the required uh, Eclipse executable file will be uh, visible to you and this is the IDE that uh, we need to install so basically uh, over here we can uh, write our uh, Java programs and execute them the third software that we need to install or we need to download is the selenium jars so basically uh, these jars will be used along with our uh, Java programs so uh, we need to install these from the selenium official website so basically we just need to download the selenium jars okay so if you quickly google selenium download and 
uh, it will list out the different languages that is supported by Selenium. So as you can see over here, Java is one of the languages that is uh, supported by Selenium along with C Sharp, Ruby, Python and some other languages that are supported by Selenium. So in this tutorial series, we will be focusing on uh, Java as our programming language and you can always download from uh, this particular link. Uh, the required jars will be downloaded based on the Java programming language and another uh, software or a Java file that you need to download is uh, the Selenium standalone server. So basically this again is uh, 3.0.1 that is the latest version of Selenium standalone server you can download from this particular link. Okay, so basically uh, the jars related to Java programming language and the st Selenium standalone server you can uh, combine all the jars in one particular folder so as you can see I have already combined them okay so this is the folder that was uh, created after extracting the zip file and under selenium jars we have something called as library that is lib folder which contains all the required jars that we can use to quickly create the test automation scripts based on the Java language and along with this we have uh, also included the selenium server standalone jar so basically we need not have to reference it from some other particular folder when we will be creating our Java programs and the last thing that you need to download is the web driver drivers okay so basically these drivers are nothing but uh, these are the softwares that we need to download for different browsers that we will be working with so initially we will be working with uh, only two browsers that is uh, Mozilla Firefox and Google Chrome so basically for those browsers you can quickly download the uh, driver servers so as you can see on the same page we have something called as third party drivers which uh, you can download so basically the very first uh, Mozilla Gecko driver is the driver that will be used for Mozilla and the second one that is Google Chrome driver which will be used for Google Chrome so I have already downloaded it in the selenium folder and saved it under selenium drivers so we have both the drivers that we will be working with so initially uh, these are the only uh, softwares that we need to download or install on our system so that we can uh, get started with the selenium web driver so in the upcoming tutorials we will be looking into how we can uh, use these softwares and uh, create the uh, test automation scripts uh, based on selenium web driver so that's it in this tutorial. We'll catch you guys in the next tutorial. Have a nice one.